Welcome 7th grade math students to the video for Learning Target 1.7, Divide Decimals. Now, here is our first problem. 2.064 divided by 0 0.24. Now, we are able to take this problem and remember the first number, that is called our dividend, always goes inside the bracket. So 2 point zero six four and our divisor it goes outside the bracket so zero point two four now the very first step we have to do when we're dividing by decimals is we have to move the decimal point over on the outside of the bracket the number outside of the bracket the divisor so we're gonna move it over one two places here and we're gonna move it over since we moved over two on the divisor we have to move it over twice on the dividend so we move up the move over on the dividend then we're going to raise the decimal okay and now we're just going to divide this problem as if it's 206.4 divided by 24 so first we're gonna see how many times 24 can go into 206, and that's going to be 8, okay? 8 times 24 is 192. Now we're going to subtract. So 6 minus 2 is 4. We're going to have to do some borrowing here. 10 minus 9 is 1, so we have 14. Now, is 14 smaller than 24? Yes, it is. So now we can bring down the 4. And we're going to see how many times can 24 go into 144. Well, that's 6 times. So we take 6 times 24, get 144, subtract, and get 0. There's nothing to bring down, so our answer of 2.064 divided by 24 hundredths is 8 and 6 tenths. Let's do another example here. This time we have 12.42 divided by 5.4. So the dividend, the first number, is going to go inside our bracket, 12.42. And our divisor is going to go outside the bracket. Okay, so we got them in there. Now we have to look at our number outside of the bracket, the divisor, and we have to see how many place values we have to move the decimal point over. Well, this needs to move over 1. Since we move the outside over 1, we also have to move the inside decimal point over 1 place value. And then we raise the decimal point. Okay, and now we just solve it like a typical long division problem. How many times can 54 go into 124? That would be 2 times. So we take 2 times 4 and 2 times 5, 108. Then we subtract that. Going to have to borrow here. 14 minus 8 is 6, 1 minus 0 is 1, and 1 minus 1 is 0. So now, is 16 smaller than 54? Yes it is, so now we can bring down our 2. Now, how many times can 54 go into 162? It can go in 3 times. So. We take 54 times 3, so that'd be a 12, carry the 1, 3 times 5 plus the 1 is 16, subtract that, 0, there's nothing to bring down, so our answer is 2 and 3 tenths. Now here's one I'd like you to try on your own. So please push pause 
and when you're done with your problem, hit play and see if you did it correctly. Okay, let's see how you did. You need to put the 67.84 inside of the bracket and the 64 hundredths outside of the bracket. Now, how many times do we need to move our decimal place over? Twice. So we need to move it over inside twice. Now, how many times can 64 go into 67? One. So now I bring down my 64, subtract, and I get three. Now I'm going to bring down the eight. How many times can 64 go into 38? Zero. Okay, so zero times 64 is zero. Need to subtract it to get 38. Now I need to bring down my four. How many times can 64 go into 384? Six. So 64 times six. So we multiply 64 times six and get 384. We subtract that and get zero and there's nothing to bring down so our answer is 106. Now try this problem. Do plus, Press pause and when you're done hit play and see how you did. Let's see how you did. First put 144.06 inside the bracket and put your 9 and 8 tenths outside of the bracket. We need to move that decimal point over one on the outside, so that means we move it over one on the inside, and then raise that decimal point. Now, how many times can 98 go into 144? Just one time. So 98 times one. We're gonna have to subtract it, do a little borrowing. So 14 minus eight is six and 13 minus nine is four. Is 46 smaller than 98? Yes. So now we need to bring down the zero. So how many times can 98 go into 460? Four times. Four times eight, 32. Put my little three there. 9 times 4 is 36, plus the 3. Now I need to subtract. I'm going to have to do some borrowing. So that's 8. Do some more borrowing here. That would be 6, and that's 0. Now, is 68 smaller than 98? Yep. So now we can bring down our 6. So how many times can 98 go into 686? Seven times. Seven times eight is 56. Put our little five up here. Seven times nine, 63, plus the five. 686 is zero. There's nothing else to bring down, so our answer is 14.7. Let's look at the story problem in example two on page 21 of your text. It says, according to the American Academy of Pediatrics, the average two-year-old child drinks about 6.8 ounces of juice per day. Suppose you have 48 ounces of juice. If you pour 6.8 ounces of juice for each child, how many children can you serve? Is it 2, 7, 8, or 41? So, let's figure out what would be the closest. So the way we're going to solve this is we're going to do some division of 48 divided by 6.8. So we put 48 inside the bracket and put 6.8 outside the bracket. Now we have to move our decimal point over one place value. 48 doesn't have a decimal point showing, but remember, every number has an invisible decimal point right at the end. So we can put it there and then move it over one place value. And because we have that open place value, 
we can put in a placeholder zero. Now what we're going to do is we're going to raise that decimal point right there. Now we can solve our problem uh, to see how many times 68 can go into 480. So we're going to put a 7 in here. And then we do 7 times 68, which is 476. Now we need to subtract. So we have to borrow from this 8. And 10 be, or 0 becomes 10. So we subtract it and get 4. And those all cancel out. So now we look. We don't have anything to bring down. But we do know that there's a decimal point here. So because of that, we can put a zero behind it. So now I have a zero to bring down. Okay, now we look to see how many times 68 can go into 40. Well, it can't go in, so we put a zero up here. Now, because there's not something there to bring down, we can still put another zero there to bring down. Now, how many times can 68 go into 400? It can go in five times. So, five times eight is 40, and six times five is 30 plus the four, so we get 34. So we subtract that, do my borrowing to give me 10. So that's gonna be zero, 10 minus four is six. Now, we could keep on bringing down zeros, but this problem is going to go on for a very long time. But we do know the answer to our question. We can get about 7 servings of 6.8 ounces out of a 48-ounce container. And we found this by adding placeholder zeros that we could keep bringing them down. Now, let's have you do a quick check. It states that you use 0.6 bananas or pounds of bananas in each smoothie. How many smoothies can you make with 3.12 pounds of bananas? So hit the pause now and solve the problem and then hit play afterwards and see how you did. Okay, let's see how you did. So you should take 3.12 divided by 0 0.6. And you put that in a bracket the 3.12 inside and the 0.6 outside. So I move my decimal point over one time on the outside, move it one time on the inside, then bring it straight up. So how many times can 6 go into 31? 5. 5 times 6 is 30. I'm going to do my subtraction. 1 minus 0 is 1. That's 0. My check is one smaller than set six. Yes, it is. So now, I'm going to bring down two. How many times can six go into two? Twelve, I mean. Two times. Two times six is twelve. Twelve minus twelve is zero. Is there anything to bring down? Nope. So we know that you can make five point two smoothies. For this assignment, for the basic, do page 22, 7 through 21 odd. This is something new, so everybody should probably do a couple of the basic problems. And then in the applied, which I'd like you all to do, is pages 22 to 23, 22 through 37. And then the challenge problem is page 23, exercise 38.